What does a man look like if he's 38 years old in regards to his hair? I'm making this video because I want to submit a concept, a theory to you that a man who is 38 in the United States, his hair is going to look something like this. I am the average of everyone on the spectrum. If you're 38, you should have hair that probably looks something like this. You can notice that my temples are receding. You can notice that my hair is thicker on the sides than on the top. Now, granted, I keep it short on the sides and it sort of gives that illusion that it's more of a similar density. But you're gonna see that the hairline goes back. You're gonna see kind of a V situation there. If you look carefully, you may even see that it is thinner. So especially right here too. But ultimately, is anyone going to really see me as someone who's balding? No. I just look like a guy who's pushing 40. And naturally, I'm going to have some of this going on. Completely normal. So I would actually submit to you that it would be abnormal if you are my age or older and have thicker hair and have a more straight across hairline. I would say that is actually more abnormal. Not bad. And this isn't bad. This is normal. But that's why this whole thing about hair loss is interesting because we never really know at what point we're gonna be on the hairline spectrum, on the thinning spectrum. But what I do feel is, I feel very strongly that I am the epitome of what the average American looks like when it comes to hair loss. The average American male, age 35, your hairline and your hair density probably looks something like this. I am not special, I am not important. I am completely forgettable and average when it comes to my hair situation. Your comments belong right here.